So hi, uh, my name is Irina Charlotte Rana Yifosoa. Uh, I'm from France. I studied in Birmingham at the LLM General from 2015 to uh, from 2013 to 2015. I studied it part time uh, because I had to fund obviously the degree. Uh, so I had to work part time and study part time. But what I did is I did Erasmus in the, at the University of Wolverhampton from 2012 to 2013. And obviously, so I graduated, I got my uh, LLB and I wanted to keep studying in the UK and obviously doing a master's and I was looking uh, looking for like master's in Wolverhampton, but then other universities as well. And Birmingham obviously was a bigger university, uh, more network and higher prestige, I'd say. <laughs> um, I wanted to study diplomacy. And then I was like, the thing is, I'm not sure if it's something I'm gonna like or not. So I decided to keep on with the law. And the LM general with all the different modules that I could choose, that was one of the, um, let's say the, um, the thing that made me choose, maybe apply to Birmingham, the variety of modules that I could study in the LLM general, uh, because I studied uh, public international law, uh, international human rights law and humanitarian law. That's one of the two that really kind of, uh, that attracted me in studying in Bir at Birmingham. And then the death penalty in law and practice that was another one that was interesting. So I wanted to stay in the UK to study, obviously, well, you study, but then you live as well. And sports uh, was one of the biggest part of, I'd say, Birm the, my experience at Birmingham because I was part of the um, uh, um, women's basketball team for the two years I was at Birmingham. And on my first year, uh, we won the... Um, national trophy awards like the the cup national trophy cup not the highest level at the national level but the second one so uh, that was yeah one of the greatest experience at birmingham um so the thing in doing uh lm general uh, in birmingham is i realized in the middle of my of the studies the master degree that i enjoyed law, studying it, but did not want to work as a lawyer. <laughs> I realized it, okay. Uh, and I did my thesis, my final thesis on the human rights to peace. Um, and, but I realized that I wanted to study peace, like as a subject, what it was. So everything around in terms of law, the human right to peace, that was the uh, theme of my thesis. Uh, international human rights law, humanitarian law, all of this, you know, it's all around peace, but it's not studying properly. So I realized that I graduated and I wanted to uh, go and study actually peace in, a, in another master in Spain. But I was like, okay, but I can't just keep on studying. So I keep that in, my, at the, in the back of my head and I'm going to work or volunteer, get some experience before you know, going back to studying something I really want to study. So first thing I did is I applied to the International Student Service and I got in. I went to Senegal for three months. So I said from uh, September 2015 to December 2015. Uh, and afterwards in uh, January 2016, I, I started to look uh, in the alumni internships and um, stuff like that were the University of Birmingham was proposing. And I got accepted in the internship as a, a social media officer uh, at the UK Subsist Trust. Uh, so I stayed there for five months until uh, July 2016. And I went on doing um, a month, uh, yeah, a couple of months as a, a senior mentor for the NCS um, program for young young people of 16, 17. And after that, I left the UK and I did, I went to Vietnam for a year doing, um, it's kind of the ICS in France, service civic it's called. 
So I applied to many of these missions that were abroad, that were funded by the French government that I got, uh, I got in in the Vietnam uh, position as a, a development communication and marketing officer. That was kind of the main part of a uh, training, um, hospitality training center project in the highlands of Vietnam. So I stayed there for 12 months from October 2016 to uh, October 2017. And um, in 2018, that's where I started the masters I wanted to study about peace. And I stayed there for um, two years and a half. It's the International Master in Peace, Conflict and Development Studies in Castellón de la Plana in Spain. And while doing that, I, um, I worked as a project assistant. And when I finished my, uh, my Master in Peace and uh, Conflict and Development Studies in February 2021, I went to Colombia afterwards, so that was in June 2021, uh, as an international human rights uh, observer. So I stayed there for 10 months until May 2022. And now I'm back where I'm from, the town where I'm from in Toulouse, as a, it's called, it's a mediator position. But, uh, so in that role, I'm really in charge of managing these young people there's seven of them um it's a project where we are doing visits at people's homes to do some awareness about tips to save money to save energy and then obviously save money when we're consuming so as i realized for myself really find what they really like about something for example uh, I realized, okay, law is not really something I like, but doing my master thesis, because I was free to choose any subject, I was like, I'm gonna study something I like or something, one of the part in law, but I like that I like, even if it's not the law itself, but because obviously for me, it was more the social science side of peace, but stud I studied it through the law. So I, okay, I know I like studying this, the peace, but I'm gonna find it in the law sector, I mean, the, in the law area, how I can study that. And then obviously, even if someone doesn't realize, okay, they don't want to be a lawyer, my advice is oh, try to finish the degree because it's always, you know, you can always say, I've, I finished that degree. I had my LB, I am my LLM. Maybe I'm not using it now, but there's always something uh, positive to take out of it. And then obviously while studying, try to, you know, at least one thing that you like study or that you find that you like, even if the law side of it, you don't like it, trying to find something, yeah, that motivates you at some point.